Hi, in the last lecture uh, we talked about the DC motors and control techniques and today I would like to uh, solve an example. Actually this is a, a past year's exam, a final exam uh, question from 2015 and I think you can find the full solution also in the OT class but let's go through the, uh, the question and I hope that will help you to understand the topics that we already discussed. Anyway, so here we have a separately excited DC motor with an armature resistance of 0 0.5 ohms and as we discussed, you know, usually the armature resistances are quite small so we want to uh, keep the efficiency high. So then there is no friction so we don't have to worry about that one. So the armature is supplied from a controllable uh, voltage source. I mean it can supply bidirectional current and produce bidirectional bipolar DC voltage. So that means our uh, our motor can operate in four quadrant mode. In sometimes maybe it is in the generating mode. In sometimes it is in the uh, motoring mode. So we know uh, the motor is rotating from part A. So the motor rot runs at no load with a speed of 1,500 RPM when the terminal voltage is 220 volts. Okay, so we let me uh, try to draw the equivalent circuit. Let me uh, get rid of myself to have more space. So let's say this is our uh, motor, right? So here we have terminal voltage, we have RA and we have EA, right? So that is 0 0.5 ohms and when we apply 220 volts uh, at speed okay ns is equal to 1500 rpm and find ea find ea when terminal voltage is 220 volt at no load okay so at no load means there is uh, i mean no friction friction is neglected so we want the electrical will be zero so there will be no friction normally if there is some friction there will be like really small current anyway if there is no current in the system we know there shouldn't be any armature current so if this is ia so if there is no current i can say that ea is equal to vt and that is equal to 220 volts so that's it for you know part a but you know let's uh, try to have more uh, data from what we know so I know EA okay is equal to motor armature constant time flux times Omega so I know that values and I know the speed and actually one important thing is you know all the equations are radian per second so when it is given revolutions per minute RPM you need to convert it to radian per second so for that you convert it so you divide it by 60 so this is how many revolutions per second so or in frequency hertz then you multiply it by uh, 2p all right so i know 220 is equal to ka times omega times 1500 divided by uh, 60 times 2p i mean it seems like a complex calculation but you can calculate and you can find uh, that one as 1.4 okay so the machine constant at the flux uh, the multiplication of that one is equal to 1.4 and actually uh, you don't have to worry about finding either ka or flux because if you remember that will be the same equation that we will use in the uh, torque calculation so anyway we know the machine parameters and we know if it is rotating at no load and if there is no friction uh, there will be no current and if there is no current uh, the terminal voltage will be equal to back emf so that is 220 volts and from that one i can calculate the machine constant anyway so let's uh, move on with the next part so if now a constant torque mechanical load of 100 newton meter is coupled to the shaft of the motor and the field current is kept i think there's a mistake here is kept as in part a calculate the new value of terminal voltage armature current blah 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 
Okay, so now suddenly, okay, let me draw it here again. So we have our motor, right? So RA is 0 0.5 ohm. And now the torque, okay, so suddenly I have T load of, you know, 100 Newton meter and I want to keep I want to keep the speed okay uh, Omega or let me write it again and as 1500 rpm so what should be the new value of terminal voltage so obviously if I you know if I just keep the same terminal voltage like that one whenever there is some current okay whenever there is some uh, load there will be some current and whenever there is some current there will be some voltage drop and the EA will be smaller and a smaller EA would result in a, a slower machine. So if you don't do anything and if you just apply a torque load, your machine will slow down. But we don't want that. What we want is we want to increase the terminal voltage and that is the value that we need to find so that we will still have the same speed. So it means like your electric car is moving upwards and you are, you know, setting the speed cruiser to 90 kilometers per hour and when you are going uphill so your motor drive has to apply a slightly increased voltage so we want to you know find uh, that voltage so anyway let's uh, move on with the calculations so anyway from what i know again in the steady state okay te should be equal to t load okay so that is equal to 100 uh, newton per meter for newton meter and i know t electrical is equal to ka times flux times ia so basically there were like two main uh, equations one of them is regarding the you know machine constant times uh, speed is equal to ea the other one is machine constant times current is equal to torque so again since you know the field current again this is a separately excited uh, machine but uh, we didn't change the field current so that relation will be same so if we had changed the field current maybe that value can go up and down but now it is the same so i can write that one is equal to you know 1.4 times 100 i'm uh, sorry uh, ia so i can write i can calculate armature current is 74 71.4 amps okay so now if you know if armature current armature current is 71.4 ohms what should be the ea i mean ea will be again 220 volts you can still calculate it because speed is still 1500 rpm right so you can write so we are still working in the uh, motoring mode and vt is equal to ia times ra plus ea so that voltage okay plus voltage drop here which is 71.4 uh, times e and plus ea is equal to terminal voltage and this can be written as like uh, 0 0.5 times 71.4 plus 220 and this is equal to 255.7 volts so that is the amount of voltage that need to you know be applied in order to keep the speed constant okay and t electrical again we calculated it so that is 100 newton per meter so let's uh, calculate the output power okay I mean this is mechanical since I mean again what we know is we have VT times IA is equal I square RA plus EA times IA right so that is the uh, in the motoring mode in the motoring mode this is 
electrical power this is armature loss in the resistance and this is the mechanical power all right so I mean you can write P out is equal to EA times IA and 220 times 71.4 that is equal to uh, 15,015 uh, kilowatts 708 watts right so just over uh, 15 kilowatt and actually you can you know maybe calculate it easily or you know P out since this is a lossless system it is torque times speed right so that what is the same as that one and I know it is 100 Newton uh, meter the torque and again that is not uh, uh, RPM you need to convert it uh, to radian per second you can do that calculation and you will find the exact same value okay so by the way you know I advise you to I advise you to you know go through these uh, calculations yourself and uh, what we know is in order to keep the speed constant now we need to apply 255 something volts and when we do that the machine is driving like uh, getting 71.4 amps and the output mechanical power is your electrical input power I mean you can calculate the electrical input power I think that one multiplied with that one and that is uh, that is your total input power since it is working as a motor and we will have some power loss in the armature resistance I square RA loss and the rest is our energy convert the mechanical um, system okay so we have either it can be calculated as EA times IA which is the same thing or T times Omega actually we had the you know that equation is derived from uh, that one so you know there's no surprise here having both of them same okay so up to here like it is like normal operating conditions so let's move to part two so now suppose that our terminal voltage is suddenly reduced to 200 volts so now we were working under load but we suddenly reduced it to 200 volts so calculate the following just after the terminal voltage reduction okay we just want to have what will happen at that instant so let me uh, try to draw what will happen again you know we draw the e colon circuit I mean it's always useful to draw the e colon circuit okay so if you are not sure what to do just draw the e colon circuit and it will uh, give you some idea so we have EA and we had VT so in the previous to remember so EA you know again it is the same uh, field value okay it was the same condition same speed it is 220 volts okay so at that instant 220 volts uh, and it is rotating at 1500 rpm right so now at that instant I just you know previously it was uh, going uphill like our car is going uphill and we were applying 255 volts but now we apply it uh, we reduce it to 200 volts of course now you should see that now our back EMF is larger than our terminal voltage so the direction of the current is going to reverse so our machine will get into the generating mode of course if you uh, wait a couple of seconds now it will get into the generating mode and it will slows down to a new uh, steady state value because now we have we still have the 100 newton meter so we are our car is going uphill and we have the mechanical load let's say gravity is pulling it by 100 newton meters and on top of that 
our motor is like uh, getting into generating mode and it will try to keep uh, some energy from the mechanical system so it will uh, quickly slow down but in this part we want to find out what will happen at that instant at that you know switching instant the thing that you need to remember is that speed okay the speed in mechanical systems cannot change instantaneously why because remember it is t is equal to j d omega over dt if the speed you know dropping from let's say 1500 rpm to 1000 rpm so that will go to infinity and that implies an infinite uh, amount of torque which is not possible so the change of speed has to be continuous you can't make uh, instantaneous jumps anyway so let's try to calculate uh, those things so we still have the same parameters and from here suddenly i mean again the field current they are all constant and our uh, 220 volts is our ea and on the other side we have the 200 volts as the terminal voltage so it is easy to calculate ia so ia is equal to like 200 i'm writing is like a negative just to show its direction divided by 0 0.5 ohm right so that is minus 40 amps uh, working as a generator so actually since our voltage source is having you know capable of bidirectional current it is technically regenerative braking so we are getting into regenerative braking with 40 amps so direction of the power flow in the armature circuit so uh, let's calculate the torque for example how many uh, torques that you are uh, generating so i can write as like ka times flux times ia so again it is the same value so that was 1.4 multiplied by 40 it is minus 56 newton meter okay same slowing or slowing so now we have uh, actually two forces we still have the 100 newton meters slowing down let's say the gravity on top of that we are uh, getting another 56 newton meters so actually our uh, electric car uh, sees a total force of 156 newton meter uh, to slow down okay so let's uh, calculate the uh, like power flow and the mechanical output power and so on so let's uh, try to calculate the p mechanical okay or uh, we can calculate uh, how much power that we are getting from our mechanical system either you can uh, let me draw the uh, so we have p mechanical now and we have some losses and we have some electrical so now since it is working as a generator our p mechanical will be larger and we will have some loss in our resistance and we will have less uh, voltage anyway so let's move on so p mechanical can be either represented as ea times ia or torque times omega again it will be the same thing and since we know the uh, ea and current uh, let's use that one you can double check with the other one so it is 220 times 40 amps or minus 40 let me be consistent so it is minus 8800 uh, watts 8.8 .8 kilowatts okay so that is mechanical energy converted to electrical energy so that is the gross i mean gross means like brute brute in turkish so you need to be uh, reducing the losses and other things right and let's again if you want to calculate uh, losses armature losses let me calculate that one even if it is not uh, asked armature losses so that is i square times ra and this is 400 times 0 0.5 so it is uh, 16 
and half of it so it is like 800 watts right so again I mean it is simple so we still have the IA so net electrical power okay so net electrical power is P electrical let me say it is VT times IA so that is I mean again you can write it like minus so that one it is 8000 uh, watts 200 volts times 40 watts so again you know you see we convert like 8.8 .8 kilowatts into the electrical system so we have armature losses of 800 watts and our output is 8 kilowatts so in the exam sometimes uh, in the exam sometimes you make like uh, simple uh, mistakes by when adding those things always check your efficiency okay it is not possible to get efficiency larger than 100 percent so here we have 8.8 .8 percent coming in and we are getting 8 kilowatts uh, from the output so again as it working as a motor it will be the other way around but always we will have the losses as post positive losses as dissipation in our system okay let's uh, continue with our uh, question so operation modes of the dc machine and dc motor load combination and explain what will be the response of the dc uh, load combination so i mean first uh, it gets i mean suddenly okay it gets into generating mode right and we have basically at first we had i mean remember from the previous uh, question we had a total 100 newton meter uh, load so then the electrical system was 100 newton per meters and again if it were uh, let me write it here uh, first part part one we had t electrical was 100 newton meter t load was 100 newton meter so we have t electrical minus t load is equal j times d omega over dt so 100 minus 100 was like j d omega over dt so t net was equal to zero so it is steady state that was the case in uh, first part right so we had electrical load of 100 newton meter uh, so electrical load of 100 newton meter and load of 100 newton meter so the difference is zero so when difference is zero there will be no change uh, at the speed steady state at 1500 rpm but now okay so now what we have okay on part two we have t electrical we calculated it here it is minus okay minus 56 newton meter and we still have the t load right it is 100 newton meter so actually you write the same equation t electrical minus t load i'm oh, sorry t load is equal to j times d omega over dt so it is minus 56 minus 100 is equal j times d omega over dt and you can calculate 100 the net torque is 110 minus 156 okay of course we don't know the inertia but from here it is clear okay it is clear that our machine will slow down because it is negative inertia is always uh, positive d omega over dt less than zero means it will uh, decelerate okay so speed is going down 
but how much slower so we have the 100 newton meter mechanical load and on top of that our machine is also converting kinetic energy to electrical energy so our system will start slowing down and what will happen as it starts down let me uh, Neve, let me write it here Neve, steady state so let me try to again the row the equivalent circuit so here I have now 200 volts RA so as it slows down EA is going to reduce okay as uh, the induced voltage gets smaller the voltage difference the voltage difference between that one at first remember it was uh, 220 something 220 so as it slows down then the current will get smaller at first let's say it's reached the 200 volts so once it is exactly 200 volts there will be no current but it will still be slowing down because we have the mechanical load and it again if it goes below 200 volts now the, the current direction is going to get reverse and it will first go backwards but at first it will not be enough until when until we generate enough torque okay until we generate enough torque and enough torque is again if our load torque is 100 newton meters the motor will keep slowing down until it will get into the motoring mode and it will produce exactly 100 newton meters so let's try to calculate uh, that value so i know uh, from the previous example again i can write t is equal to ka times ia and this is 100 newton meter and in order to have that one we already calculated here and the uh, current or other things didn't change uh, i calculated the armature current as 71.4 amps right so it is uh, ia should be 71.4 amps so i can calculate the new value okay ea is equal to uh, 200 volts minus ra times ia so you can write those values and you can find ea as 164.2 volts so that will be our new steady state point okay and actually you can uh, calculate that one let me clean that part so i know ea is equal to ka times phi times omega and actually that thing is not changed and i know ea was equal to 220 volts for 1500 rpm again this is rating per seconds or you know you can co convert those things so basically uh, new speed okay new speed or n s new will be i mean you can just use uh, 164.3 divided by 220 times uh, 1500 rpm let me write that one and that is 1220 uh, rpm okay be careful with your units okay uh, always uh, in torque and back emf calculations it is radian per second but in this question it is given as uh, rpm okay so this is our uh, this is our new uh, steady state operation right so now our machine started from uh, 1500 rpm but since i reduced the terminal voltage to 200 volts it will keep slowing down until it gets into the motoring mode and until the armature current is same with the previous one 71.4 amps and that corresponds to an armature voltage of 164.3 volts and that is you know that corresponds to 100 and uh, sorry, 1000 
1120 RPM. So that will be our new operating speed. Okay, although, I mean, it's not in the exam, but uh, let's plot the variations of current torque, you know, and other important parameters. Uh, and I think it will help you to understand what is happening from, you know, 1500 RPM to uh, that speed. Okay, so let me uh, that will plot uh, those graphs for you. So let's uh, start with the uh, terminal voltage. So just give me a second. Okay, so I plot some uh, axis here. And uh, let's say the first one is our terminal voltage. Let's say we are uh, starting with that one. So let me get that one. So it first starts from uh, 255 volts. Then you suddenly, uh, let me exaggerate a little bit. So it is something like that. So let me write the values. So it is starting from 255.7 volts. And then at some time, I don't know that time. So that is reduced to 200 volts. Okay, suddenly I reduced my voltage. So then, I mean, at first my back EMF, okay, let me use it uh, with the red one. At first, you know, under steady state, uh, it was operating uh, as 210 20 volts okay so that was the steady state condition and at that instant now I mean here I mean at that let me write that here so at that instant okay let me show it like that so here VT is larger than EA so it is motoring right and that one is EA, back EMF voltage, right? And from that part, so here again for some time we will calculate it how much. Uh, this is EA is larger than VT, so this is generating, right? So again, we will talk about how the waveform changes, but let's... Uh, Let's draw it something like that, right? So that is the point. It slows down, but again, it will uh, keep slowing down. Okay. And the next thing, uh, let's say this is our uh, T electrical, and let's say this is Newton meters. And at first, let me try to plot here, right? So at first under uh, steady state operation, it was generating some torque. And how much uh, torque was generating? It was, I think, 100 uh, Newton meters. So it was producing 100 Newton meters, right? And let's uh, try to again, let me draw uh, the equivalent circuit just to describe what is happening. So that was EA and that is VT. So at that instant, uh, now our uh, voltage is 200 volts and our current is getting into like generating mode, right? So if again, T electric, remember here, T electrical is proportional with current, right? So now it was producing 100 Newton meters, but at that instant, what was the value? At that instant, uh, the current dropped to minus 40 amps, and therefore the current is it's proportional with 1.4. It is dropped to 56 Newton meter, right? So from 100 Newton meter, okay, from 100 Newton meter, it will drop and to which value minus 56 newton meter okay so from now on from now on uh, the 
current will be proportional to uh, the torque will be proportional to current and at that instant okay at that instant it will our back emf will be equal to vt because our system is slowing down and once it is uh, equal okay at that instant i know the current uh, will be equal to zero right let me draw again again you don't have to worry about the exact uh, waveforms for now at that instant e ea is equal to vt therefore ia is equal to zero and t electrical is equal to zero right and again uh, let's i think for uh, completeness let's say this is t net and that is equal to uh, that is equal to t electrical minus uh, t mechanical and or let me say not mechanical but t load and t load remember is equal to 100 newton meter throughout the question so at first at first you know it is equal to that one and here t net is equal to zero okay so let me write it here t net is equal t electrical minus t load and t net you can use that one is d omega over dt right so at that instance you know it was zero so if it is zero then the speed let me uh, plot the speed uh, in the last curve let's say this is nr uh, rpm so it was at first constant at 1500 rpm okay so again you you can double check you know ea from the first figure i know since the excitation is same ea is proportional with omega or speed right so now i mean now our electrical torque okay our electrical torque has reduced to minus 56 newton meter and we have 100 newton meter as load so actually if you subtract that one you will have a sharp reduction okay a sharp reduction of torque uh, let me clean that part sorry and that value will be you know, minus 159 newton sorry minus uh, 56 newton meter right so from now on again you know if we have zero electrical current so that means we will still have the let me plot it accordingly go down to here and this is minus 100 newton meter right so at when there is no armature current there is no uh, torque and when there is no torque our system is still uh, decelerating because there is the uh, mechanical uh, load and mechanical torque and still we have a net torque of minus 100 newton meters right so then what will happen i mean as let me draw that instant as well and i don't know uh, if we calculated that speed i think we didn't but anyway we don't need that one our speed i mean here again you can say that our as long as that thing is in the negative region so we will have d omega okay so here let me write d omega over dt is equal to zero uh, during 
that instant and uh, from here to the state, state value the omega over dt will be less than zero so it will keep decelerating okay it will keep decelerating until when actually we calculated it and that balance point okay will be 100 and 1120 rpm okay again you know we don't know the j so we can't actually calculate the time instant but it will be a smaller uh, deceleration so again as it gets smaller okay as it gets smaller let's go back to here now our machine gets smaller and our back emf our back emf okay ea now reduced from 200 volts and until when again the balance point we calculated in the previous uh, part so it is going to drop to 164.3 volts right so now from here okay from that instant to here okay now ea is again let me write like that vt is still larger than ea so this is still in the motoring mode but it will i mean even if it is in the motoring mode it will still decelerating until when until the current or torque equals to 100 newton meters as it slows down as it slows down ia is equal to vt minus ea divided by ra and as it slows down that difference gets bigger so we will have more current and more current means uh, more uh, torque and at this steady state that should come let me draw it from scratch so it will come to the same point right electrical parallel with IA and here T electrical is again 100 Newton meters and once it is 100 Newton meters you can still you know let's say calculate that one that is net and our net will be will come to zero right at the Nev the state operation T net is zero so that means D omega over DT is equal to zero so the rate of change of the speed will be zero so that means our speed has converged to that one so this is new steady state uh, speed okay 1120 rpm right so you know just to summarize you know what happened so our motor was running happily so we were applying 255 volts then we suddenly dropped the terminal voltage to 200 volts so for a short amount of time it will get into the generating mode and while it is in the generating mode it produced negative uh, torque and on top of the, we, we already have the mechanical uh, torque so we will have a large negative torque a negative torque means deceleration and our motor start decelerating at one point it touched the 200 volts i mean ea touched the 200 volts at that instant we have no torque our electrical torque is zero but we still have some negative torque because of the load and because of that negative torque we are still decelerating although the rate of deceleration uh, gets smaller and as it gets smaller as it decelerates our machine gets into the motoring mode again and it will keep slowing down until the current armature current keeps up and up until when until it reaches to again i think it was what how much 
uh, 4, was it 40? Uh, 71, I think 0.4 uh, amps. And at that instant, we will be still generating 100 Newton meters. And once you take the net torque, once you subtract the uh, electrical uh, load torque from electrical torque, you will have zero. And once you have zero, there will be no change here. So at first, we had net torque of zero and here we have net torque of zero so whenever you have net torque of zero it will have uh, let me show it here and from here from here on d omega over dt again will be zero okay so that's you know summarizes all the operating conditions and what will happen to you know torque current and efficiencies so i hope that helps okay